Hey, it's pretty early in the morning. I just wanted to come and kind of talk to you guys a little bit. Uh, it's been a really hard week, I think, for everybody. Um, I've been really sick. I have a horrible head cold that isn't quite going away. Um, but also, I'm an American. I know Trump's inauguration affects the whole world, but it is really hard to kind of hope for change when you're fighting uphill against your government. Um, I'm really proud of everyone who went out and protested. From what I heard, there weren't really, it was mostly peaceful protests. Um, everyone keeps talking about these riots, and when I looked it up, it looked like it was one group, and they were like, self-proclaimed anarchists, like they had the anarchy symbol, and that's what anarchists do, they rile things up, and I guess they were throwing bricks at police or whatever, and that group got rounded up, but as far as what I read, it looks like most of the other movements, everything went fairly peacefully, not everywhere, not every case, but that's just what happens when you get large groups of people together, conflicting with people with different ideologies, and I guess that's America, but it is unfortunate that we have an unqualified leader now. I didn't vote for him. I voted for a politician who was qualified for the job, but the world is going to need writers and poets and artists more than ever. Don't stop writing, don't stop drawing, painting, dancing, singing, creating art, being brave. Um, thank you to everyone who's stood up for everyone else, and... jump right in. I'm actually going to read a couple of poems for you today. Um, a lot of my poems have been fairly politically charged, so I thought I would share what I thought I'd share what my poetry sounds like when it's very raw and very hurt. This is poem 17. In the fractured spaces of the universe, you are a half story. You are a consequence and a warning and not even a great one. Not even a chapter, 50 years from Friday, you'll be a bad memory, and your name will mean what it always has, wasted space. And this is number 19, and this was written on Thursday. I am poised to bear witness as the fabric of our nation crusts over in bigotry and racism, things we thought we'd live past. Things we were taught in elementary school were figments of yesterday. Figments all too present, all encompassing. Hatred felt it was hatred's turn to run the country. And tomorrow, people will cheer as liberty dies. And then I want to read one more that is about something different but still kind of the same. Um, my last poem, my pick for the 100 poems in 100 days challenge for this week, is actually poem number 15. You never asked why someone would do such a thing. You asked if we could call it what it is, not dance around the truth and kindle rumors and vagary. You asked that we take uncertainty and make it simple, make it clear. You wanted to teach the world that there are reasons and there are steps. We talked through the night about this unsteady, frightening future and how we could help it change. Art has the power to create empathy and we need a lot of that right now. We need a lot of kindness, a lot of consideration, 
Um, and we need activism too. We need people to speak out and to say what's on their mind and to say that they're being hurt. And we need other people to help. So for everyone out there who's still participating in the challenge, good luck, good job, we've made it through week three. We're going to make it through quite a few more weeks and have a great weekend. <laughs>